Do you rock? Most people enjoy a good story. Imagine a story where you rock. I challenge you to make a difference in the world. Share your story to inspire others. Calling positive people. I have had the idea of a good news stories for years running through my head. Is anyone else frustrated by all the sadness and negativity in the world? My good friend, the late Wes Funk, who had his own show called Lit Happens, always said, you rock when someone did something fantastic or helped out other people. One night while trying to sleep, the title of my show came to me, You Rock. Are you inspired by good stories? Why not share your inspirational stories about real people doing things that are good in the world? It makes sense to me. This could be a domino effect and spread great ideas like in the movie, Pay It Forward. Well, this is your chance. Together, let us create a better, more peaceful world. Let's not just imagine world peace, let's work for it. Your inspirational stories of hope and encouragement can spread like wildfire. Good news can be contagious. Are you doing something rocking in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, Canada, or the world? I would love to have you on my show to share your rocking stories. Are here with Carol Olinick with Sakura. Welcome, Carol. Hi. How are you today? I'm good, thank you. Well, Sakura is such a pretty name. How did you come up with that name for your business? Uh, well, I do a practice called Shiatsu, mm -hmm. and it is Japanese. And so, when I was looking for a business name, I wanted it to have some sort of reflection of Japanese. And so, Sakura is Japanese for cherry blossom. Oh, beautiful! Yeah. It's a beautiful name. Thank you. Kind of goes with your scarf yes. today. <laughs> <laughs> and so, uh, tell us about Shiatsu. Um, well, like I said, shiatsu is a Japanese healing technique and there's different styles of shiatsu. And so the style that I do is called Zen Shiatsu and it focuses on making sure that the meridian lines in the body are flowing properly. Okay. So same principles as acupuncture, but I don't use needles. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And you're doing other techniques too in your practice. So yes. So you want to talk a little bit about biomechanics? And sure. Yeah. Another technique I do is called the original biomechanics technique and it is a postural analysis and realignment treatment. Mm -hmm. So it helps to put the sacrum back into its original position so that we are in better alignment. Okay. Uh, when we are in better alignment, um, it is said that we are more relaxed and we can heal better. And it's important to be healthy yes. and heal. And that's why I wanted to have you on my show to talk about healing and also some of the work you do. So how did you get involved with this? Um, Unfortunately, with my own sicknesses, I mm -hmm. kind of got um, guided to shiatsu and, you know, after having maybe three months of treatments, I started feeling a lot better and I've kind of always um, grown up wanting to help people and didn't know which way I wanted to go and then after I was introduced to shiatsu, I started studying to become a shiatsu practitioner. <laughs> okay, and is that a long involved process? Um, well, at the time, the way that it worked out, my studies took just over 12 months, so, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then, so then you continued, and how did you come up with opening your own business? And um, I just decided that I would really like to be with like-minded people, and not everything is for everybody, so, mm -hmm. you know, as much as I've helped a lot of people, Maybe I wouldn't help some people, so I wanted a group of people that sort of a center that people could come to and, and just see whoever they felt they needed to see. So so is it kind of like a healing center, or how would you kind of define your Yeah, so work? I originally opened up um, in Saskatoon in 2010 um, on Duchess, and there was four full-time therapists and three part-time and a few casual. But since then, I've recently moved to Warman. Mm -hmm. um, so I've downsized and I just have one massage therapist with me right now, so. Mm -hmm. And it's so important and I think part of life is uh, we try to be in balance. Mm -hmm. And so you wanna talk about how people can achieve balance and, and, and work towards that in their life. Sure. Well, I think one of the things is we really need to know ourselves and our body and ourselves meaning our whole selves. So, you know, we need to take care of our emotions and things. And I'm a believer that all of our physical ailments are due to mental anguish. So 
to me, you have to look at the whole system to be in balance. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. you know, not just sweeping things under the rug. We need to take care of them. I always mm -hmm. feel that eventually they're going to come back and, mm -hmm. you know, make us deal with them or haunt us, so mm -hmm. people say. <laughs> yeah, that's what they say. Yeah. yeah, that's for sure. So it's important to look after yourselves. And, and I think that's important in our world and society. Uh, you know, stress is causing mm -hmm. a lot of illnesses in our life. And so having a, a balance of the body is very important. So uh, how do you practice that balance yourself? Um, well, I like to do a lot of stretching. So mm -hmm. in shiatsu, there is a series of shiatsu stretching techniques that help to keep the meridians balanced. So I like to always, when I show them to my clients, I always like to say that they're kind of like yoga moves. Mm -hmm. um, I'm also a very big yoga fan, so mm -hmm. I do a lot of yoga. Mm -hmm. um, I try to eat, you know, from my garden and as much food that I prepare as possible mm -hmm. um, and keep check with my emotions, you know, those sorts of things. Mm -hmm. So. So a holistic approach to a life kind of thing. holistic approach, yeah. And that's so important. I think people in society are looking for that now. Yes. You know, I grew up on a farm and uh, we had a lot of natural food and everything was natural. It played mm -hmm. in the earth and, and people in the cities now, we've kind of gotten away from that. But now people are trying to look for that again yes. in their lives. And I think that's important. And that's why I wanted to have you on my show because uh, I've worked with you and I've had some physical back problems and knee problems and it's helped me a lot. And so I think that's important. And maybe you could talk a little bit of how you're helping people with physical ailments. And um, Yes, like what kind of physical ailments, those sorts of things. Mm -hmm. Sure. Um, yes, um, shiatsu and biomechanics has helped many um, ailments. So some of the big ones that people come for is sciatic issues. So pain in the low back, um, kind of top of the butt area. And sometimes it shoots down the leg, those sorts of things. So I've actually had um, quite a bit of success with that one. I've had some people who've had uh, sciatic problems for 17 years and mm -hmm. tried many different modalities. And I have one lady who now has been pain free for three years. Oh, that's wonderful. Um, so yeah, many great success stories. Um, also help with um, infertility by just balancing out the woman in, um, maybe taking care of stress or some previous back troubles, you know, mm -hmm. those sorts of things. So it's not always exactly about the fertility part. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we need to clear other things. Um, headaches, stomach troubles, um, just regular um, muscle aches and pains, you know, those sorts of things. So, so chronic health uh, problems? Yeah, chronic as well. So um, I feel as though I get quite a few, I'm the last resort for people a lot of mm -hmm, times, you know, mm -hmm. I've tried this and that and mm -hmm. someone says, oh, try my lady, she's a little different. Mm -hmm. And and um, I just kind of go into my practice with the person at, with an open mind and, and good positive feelings, you mm -hmm. know, and just start by, my, shiatsu massage is always full body, so usually start at the feet and kind of work all the way up to the head to make sure that everything is in balance and feels good. And, mm -hmm. and then um, our bodies are so beautiful, so, then our body takes over and continues to heal and repair what I've done. So I always tell people I'm your body's assistant. <laughs> okay, well that's a wonderful way to be. And I know with my knee and my back, I've had great success. And uh, it's important to take care of your body. And uh, especially now in our society, we have a lot of sedentary activities. And then a lot of people are experiencing a lot of chronic mm -hmm. uh, back pain and, and health every day. So. Yeah. And uh, so you've had great success. So tell us about some of the successes that you have experienced and how it affects you. Oh, <laughs> um, what kind of successes have I had? Um... Well, I've had, you know, somebody come with cranial hypertension, which is uh, inflammation in the brain. And, you know, I can't see that or feel that. So I started the treatment with shiatsu to balance out the whole body. And then I ended up um, taking her into a, the alignment treatment mm -hmm. to make sure that everything was in alignment. And what's beautiful about the original biomechanics technique is that it helps to reduce inflammation what we see and what we don't see so mm -hmm. I knew that when she came it was something I really wanted to do with her mm -hmm. um, and I think after three treatments it um, she stopped taking all her medications and it kept her out of the hospital she was almost in the hospital for oh, one year and well, stuff not wonderful yeah and of course I feel absolutely wonderful my whole life I've wanted to help people so when mm -hmm. I'm helping people it makes me happy exactly. but I'm really a believer that I'm their body's assistant and mm -hmm. we have to see See how each person responds to me and what I do mm -hmm. so you know I feel I always tell the people oh you should be so thankful for your body that it responded and mm -hmm. and that um, you're mm -hmm. feeling better you know that's wonderful and I know why you rock but why do you think you rock 
I think I rock because I have a passion to help others. You know, mm -hmm. since I've been a really young girl, I've always wanted to help people. And, um, you know, I struggled on what kind of career to have and kind of fell into this career and really happy about it. And, and yeah, I really, I try my hardest for every person, you know, mm -hmm. so I think mm -hmm. that's why I rock. And I think you're a good listener too, and you listen to people as you come. So when someone comes to see you, kind of just take us through the procedure of how it would work. Sure. Well, as a first time client, I have a little bit of paperwork for people to fill out mm -hmm. and I always go over that paperwork. And then after that, I always thoroughly explain what shiatsu, what kind of shiatsu I do and, and what I'm going to do sort of to make them comfortable. Many, I find in the past however many years, many people have high anxiety over many different things. So I wanna make them feel as comfortable as possible. Mm -hmm. um, and then I actually, you stay fully clothed for the treatment. So they just either come wearing or bring to change into some loose, comfy cotton clothing. Mm -hmm. And then my treatment's actually done on the floor. Okay. So you know, as you know, sometimes mm -hmm. it's a little bit difficult to get down there when you mm -hmm. have knee problems and stuff, mm -hmm. but it's very safe down there. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't feel like you're gonna fall off. I do do some assisted stretching and Things. So then it's very safe for the person mm -hmm. because you don't feel like you're going to fall off a table or anything. That's right. Yeah. yeah and so important. just like regular massage, um, you know, I have a head cradle and people are face down on my mat. Mm -hmm. And um, I usually start with a little bit of reflexology at the feet and then start balancing out the meridians from head to toe. Well, isn't that wonderful? Yeah. And uh, you've been having great, great success with it. Yes. And how are things for you in uh, with your move to uh, warm it? Yeah. Oh, blessfully, I'm doing very well. Um, I've been... Of course, moving, it's like starting a business over. Mm -hmm. um, but yes, I, I've been very blessed and probably 90% of my people followed me. And mm -hmm. then of course, now moving to a new community, I've mm -hmm. got many new clients. So sure. yes, it's been very good. And now I live um, a little bit north of Warman, so now mm -hmm. I'm closer to home, which makes me happy. Well, that's just very good. <laughs> yes. It's always good to reduce stress in our life. Uh, and also to take care of ourselves. Yes. And so can you give some advice for people for taking care of themselves? How can you be a help, happier, healthier you? Oh, well, one of the things I tell my clients is that sort of we are in charge of our joy. Okay. You know, so mm -hmm. if you are not happy, I think we need to look inside and think about why are we not happy and we have the choice and the tools, maybe not always the tools, but we are in control of that. So mm -hmm. I think that is number one is to always look into ourselves and if you're mm -hmm. not happy or you know if you have stress what's causing the stress to not make you happy and we need to be in control and in charge and eliminate those things mm -hmm. you know and then on the other part move you know it, even if you don't have very much mobility um, stretch you know even if you're in a wheelchair you can still move your legs and arms you just need to move a little mm -hmm. try to eat as best as possible drink lots of good quality water you know those mm -hmm. sorts of things mm -hmm. so all very important things yeah. that sometimes we forget about yeah. and so that's why I wanted you to remind people about yes. those things and that's why I wanted to have you on your show because I know I had great success I have chronic uh, pain but you've helped me deal with that pain and I'm hopefully getting better I feel like I'm getting better yeah. so uh, that's why you rock and that's why it's good to have you on your show so thanks for being on our show Thank today you. and and telling us all about the importance of taking care of ourselves. and if how can they get a hold of you if they need to get a hold of um, you? well my business is called Sakura Healing Center I'm in Warman and my phone number is 306 229-6003 and I also have a website which is um, just my business name sakurahealingcenter.ca and yeah those are probably the best ways to get a hold of me. <laughs> Thank you Carol for being on our show and we'll return soon with Martin Hunuk and the Ukrainian Museum. <laughs>